God has given you a soul and a body. Let's hear some wonderful classic Catholic stories for children of all ages about how we were each made in God's image, how our body is God's temple, and why and how we should take care of our bodies. These classic Catholic stories are from the Scottish missionary priest Father D. Chisholm's famous and popular book, The Catechism in Examples, Volume 1, written in the 1800s. This is video number four. Let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God has given you a soul and a body. The soul is much more precious than the body because God made it to his own image and likeness. How careful you should be never to destroy God's holy likeness by committing sin. The first story is called Scipio's Medal. Long ago there used to be a curious custom among certain people. It was this. The children of all noble families had to wear on their breasts, above their clothes, a large medal, formed like a heart. On this medal were stamped the portraits of their fathers and mothers. The reason why they wore this medal was that they might have continually before their eyes the remembrance of their parents, and that the sight of it might keep them from doing anything that would bring dishonor to their parents' names. A certain nobleman had a son named Scipio. This son wore round his neck a medal according to the custom, but he did not imitate the virtues of his parents, and by his bad conduct and by his bad conduct was bringing dishonor upon them. So the magistrates of the city commanded the medal to be taken from him and ordered him to be punished. When you were made God, your heavenly Father, put on your soul his image. You must, therefore, be very clever never to do anything unworthy of him. Otherwise, he will no longer call you his child and will punish you forever in hellfire. You must take care of your body. You must also honor the body which God has given you, for it is his holy temple, and made to be happy along with the soul in heaven for all eternity. The next story is called St. Leonidas and his son. St. Leonidas, the martyr, had a son whose name was Origen. He loved him dearly because he was his youngest child, he watched over him with the greatest care that no evil might befall him, and he taught him to love God from his very infancy. Origen grew up a pious child. He had a great horror of sin, no matter how small, and he seemed to have one only desire, that of pleasing God. Leonidas had a feeling of reverence for his little boy. Often at night when the child was sleeping in his little bed, he would go up quietly to him and uncover his breast and kiss it. Once someone happened to surprise him in this act of piety and asked him why he did so. Do you not know, he said, that this child is the living temple of the Holy Ghost? In him he resides, for he is his chosen dwelling place, and I love to honor the place where God reposes. You too are God's temple, my child. How carefully you ought to shun every evil, that you may keep pure and holy that temple which God has chosen for himself, and which he created to be eternally happy in heaven. The next story, and in this case the last story, for this video is called The Old Man and the Young Solitary. There was once a young solitary whose one thought was the salvation of his soul. 
Having often heard of the necessity of keeping the body in subjection, he used to entertain a great hatred for it and treat it in a most cruel manner. Sometimes, even for weeks, he would not eat nor drink, and in a very short time he was reduced to a skeleton. On one occasion, an old man, who also had spent his life in the desert, meeting him and seeing him reduced to this sad condition, asked him the cause of it. Oh, what use is this miserable body? He answered in reply. It is of no value. It came from the dust of the earth and must soon return to the dust again. No, my friend, replied the old man. You are very wrong. Your body is indeed of great value. It is the dwelling place of your soul. And through love for your soul, you ought also to love your body in a reasonable manner and to preserve its existence as long as the will of God permits you. Let me lay before you a comparison. The eagle takes the greatest care of the egg in her nest, and woe betide the one who would dare to touch it. She does not do this for the sake of the egg, but for the preservation of the young eagle which it contains. But when the time of hatching has come, and the young bird comes forth from the shell to gaze upwards upon the sun, then the eagle cares nothing for the shell, but casts it away. So also, you should take care of your body as long as the soul dwells in it. But when it goes forth to gaze upon the sun of justice, you need no longer care for the mortal covering which had enveloped it. Thus spoke the wise old man. The young solitary took his lesson to heart, and from that time forward treated his body in a more reasonable and Christian manner. Hope you enjoyed today's stories. Let's finish with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.